Hey there, Nintendo fans. My name is Amiibo Jason, and welcome back to another episode of the Nintendo Wiretap, this time for June 1st, 2018. With E3 right around the corner, today we're talking all about E3 leaks, specifically a major leak that happened yesterday that includes a bunch of brand new titles. So without further ado, let's take a look. Yesterday on 4chan's video game board, an interesting image popped up. According to the post, somebody that's actually setting up E3's showrooms ended up snapping a picture of one of the event's work orders. The games in question on the work order was Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Fortnite, Killer Queen Black, Starlink Battle for Atlas, Paladins Championships of the Realm, Overcooked 2, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and Mario Tennis Aces. Now, before you say, Amiibo Jason, this is just another one of these fake leaks, we see these every single year, well, this one actually looks legitimate. Even the folks at Kotaku and Destructoid have confirmed that they believe that these are legit leaks. Destructoid even went as far to say, we're confident that this rumor is accurate. And if that wasn't enough, the Korean Game Ratings Board accidentally confirmed Fortnite was indeed coming to the Switch. So, that being said, it definitely looks like these leaks are the real deal. So, what does this mean? Well, Fortnite is one of those games that I know a lot of Nintendo fans have been waiting for, essentially being the first real Battle Royale game on the Nintendo Switch. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is another no-brainer for the Nintendo Switch, as it definitely has the hardware potential to pump a game like that out. Overcooked 2 is one of those games too that, personally, I loved the first Overcooked, and many other people did as well. This is not necessarily going to be a Switch exclusive, but it's really cool to see that Nintendo is spotlighting it at E3. Another title on the list is Killer Queen Black. This is one that you might not necessarily know what it is. Killer Queen is an indie arcade game that actually uses specially built 10-player cabinets, which is pretty darn amazing. The game involves two teams of five characters, four drones, and one queen per group. It's played very much like Joust, with action taking place on a 2D plane with platforms. What Killer Queen Black might look like is still beyond me, but I'm guessing it's going to be very similar to its arcade counterpart. But luckily, we have very little time to wait as E3 is only about a week away. But there you have it, that's the leak that we have for this year's E3 2018. Again, a lot of these games are games that many people, especially myself, have been waiting for. Fortnite and Dragon Ball Fighter Z are shoe-ins on the Nintendo Switch, so it's exciting to see that it looks like they are indeed coming. I also want to point out that I don't believe that this is the full list of games that we're going to see at E3. Obviously, we know Super Smash Bros. is coming as well, but more than likely these games are going to be off in a very specific area on the E3 show floor. We are still expecting bigger games from Nintendo to show up as well. What those are? We're just going to have to wait about a week and a half to find out. Now, what do you guys think about this leak? Are you excited for any of these games on this list? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And that's going to wrap up today's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap again for June 1st, 2018. Once again, we want to thank our amazing Patreon supporters for helping make this show a reality. If you want to help support an episode of the Nintendo Wiretap, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash nintendowire or clicking the link in the description down below. That's it for the Wiretap for this week. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.